Because we have nominated members now, even male, that are still very vocal, participate in terms of uh, the issues of the country. For the women, uh, not as much. Non, uh, you, um, the women have been, and they've okay. been very vocal, especially on the ground, um, and going to various meetings. But their impact, because most Kenyans ask, what is it that they do? Uh, yes, you, you go to the same meeting with your member of parliament, uh, they, they uh, initialize um, some kind of development project, and you're there looking nice and pretty. Okay, so back to the initial question, which was, what is it then in your reading about our society that makes it so difficult to elect um, females in terms of we don't have any female elected senator or governor, True. and yet very many women are registered voters. So what in your reading is the situation or the well, challenge? Let's, let's go back to we will probably need to do quite a bit of civic education okay. um, uh, to ensure that people understand first of all what the roles are. Uh, when, we, when you go to the ground and um, during elections, you find that what the men and what has typically been done is the men are there and they'll come in but at the end of the day they'll round people up and they'll go on and give them a certain amount of money we need to change that culture within the country mm -hmm. um, but we can are we going to say that we're going to progressively eliminate CDF we should you know make a decision once and for all so let's not try to keep bringing in the issues of imbalanced uh, you know, that what applies for women should not apply for a single constituency MPs or the, those who are elected single constituency and those who are county MPs. Let's ensure that the playing field is level all at once. Whatever we are going to choose to do, we take away for all. Um, in terms of uh, representation for women, we, women are felt and we do go um, to all of the, uh, what do you call, the, the, most of the meetings. When you call in the media, we need to cater oh, so for the media are part of the people that are discriminating. Well, say? we won't say discriminating, but who, who, when you give You're visibility, now, are you not? when you are giving visibility to women um, at at particular events, which events? Take a look at the events that are covered, and some are given complete media blackout. Why? All right, let's talk about, uh, as we wrap this up, the civil society organization crew uh, yes. is suing the Attorney General mm -hmm. and the CIC. Do you feel the two have let uh, the women down in as far as this particular gender role uh, is concerned? Absolutely. I think there has been significant intolerance um, in terms of bringing the women's agenda. You can take a look and see um, the star in terms of, you know, even the speaker who is number three in the country abolished the seats. Real, you know, these are elected members of parliament. They're not nominated. So why are we abolishing already progression that has been made within the constitution? And CIC so has failed you how and AG? Um, the attorney general, when you continuously keep moving the barrier to let us make it progressive or ensuring that um, those particular agendas that have been pushed by male parliamentarians um, are effected, take, bite the bullet and let's do what needs to be done in terms of if this is what is required, then let us do what is required. We can't be a country that has gone in and implemented um, decisions to ensure that the two-thirds gender is met within the procurement law, is met in other S sectors, but okay. where it matters most in terms of representation, it's not being it's met. It's not being met.